Welcome to GoVM Lab, India's first job-ready VMware learning platform where professionals meet experts to revolutionize their VMware careers. Hello everyone. Let's start it with our second scenario of executing same single threaded program on a dual vCPU virtual machine. And we're going to monitor that what happens to the CPU virtual machine CPU performance when the same single threaded program is now executed with the virtual machine having one additional vCPU. So to, to do that, let me just walk you through a virtual machine vCPU configuration. So that's the same VM what we have referred in our previous uh, 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 first scenario, what we have executed. That's the same prod VM01 and click on actions, click on edit settings, and you do see that this virtual machine has a two vCPUs now, which means that this virtual machine is being configured with two vCPUs. Now, before we go and execute this uh, same single threaded program on our dual vCPU virtual machine, now let's go and just filter out our ESX top view, what we have done it in our previous lecture. So click on ESX top which will give you a very default view of a couple of other uh, other world's information other than VMs. So let's filter it out to the virtual machine view. And as you do see that we have filtered out the view very limited to the virtual machine. But because in this particular lecture, we are just focusing on a prod VM01. So let's go and filter it out this particular view to the virtual machine level and that's our prod vm 01 so to do that let's make a neat note of our virtual machine id and let's filter it out by providing virtual machine id so if you do see that we are actually limiting this view to a virtual machine having this world id so now press enter key and look at that it gives us a very precise view of a VM which we are interested into and that's our prod VM 01. But now because our virtual machine is having a two vCPUs, so what we can do, we can also filter it out this view at the every vCPU level. To do that, just press E key and provide the GID. Now, when you provide the GID, look at that. Now, we get a next level of view of our virtual machine CPU statistics. And what we will be interested into, we will be interested into these metrics, which we can visualize at every vCPU of that virtual machine. Now let's look at the, the metrics, what we would be collecting it. So again, we would be collecting the same metrics what we have collected for our scenario one. So we we have the percent used, which will tell us that the amount of physical CPU resources used by that vCPUs. Then we have a percent ready, the amount of the percentage of time the VM was ready, but it was not execute or it could not scheduled on physical CPU. Idle is about the percentage of time the, that VM vCPU world was sitting in the idle or it was in idle loop, maybe it waiting for some other instructions to get completed. And the last, what we have it is the operations per minute. How many operations are being executed by that particular VM every minute? So that's the operations per minute. And you might have noticed that because in scenario number two, we are talking about single threaded two vCPUs virtual machine. That's the reason if you do notice that every reading we would be taking vcpu0 and vcpu1 metrics or counters similarly we would be taking a counters for vcpu01 and 01 and vcpu01 so that's these are the three readings we would be taking it for these cpu counters to average out and to conclude our analysis on cpu performance when we execute single threaded program on duals vcpu virtual machine so now i think we are pretty good from the from the setup perspective so let's go and execute that single threaded program and let's start capturing these metrics thank you for watching this video if you want to continue watch this lecture then join our exclusive youtube membership program 
only at the price of 299 rupees INR per month and unlock your VMware potential with GoVM Lab. With this membership program, you can unlock all of our members only content published on our YouTube channel. You can watch out the videos presented on your screen to know the benefits of GoVM Lab subscription as well as the membership program. Thank you.